Zahib it is. All right, let's get into that. Finally a game, finally. Let's save it for next time, exactly, exactly. By the way, none of you have noticed I have a new camera. I don't have the phone camera anymore. I actually got out or went online and bought a webcam. I don't know if the quality is better or not, but it's uh, it shouldn't stop quite often now, as it used to be. And I don't have to put the camera, put my phone up on the thing all the time. Uh, let's see, Colossus. Man, I should grab Acropolis, then we're guaranteed to win, but I also like Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu and Colosseum. Is that the streamer version of not noticing the girl's new haircut? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty mad you guys didn't notice. Caesar for him, okay, and Acropolis. He knows how to win. He knows you need the Acropolis nowadays if you want to win. One, two, three, four, five, that's okay. I guess we can also take this rich land. Then he only has HA cards on this first row. Ooh, territories. And Isabella, we can maybe go for colonies. There's uh, there's no sewers. Now that the cold time of the year is coming, at least my camera isn't frozen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then go to one. Oh, he doesn't get the free re uh, he doesn't get the free religion, and we do. That's a nice start. Is that Joan? No, but we still take that free religion. Breakthrough, okay. Where will Isabella land? Here, okay. Okay, we can take the free religion, increase pop, take the free warrior. <laughs> I mean, that's almost a whole turn. That's three civil actions uh, we just saved. That is, uh, that is not bad. I could go for Isabella now, but I don't want to elect uh, right now anyway. Also, Barbarossa is in here. He's pretty good. For some reason, I want to do this. I don't know about warfare. I mean, we have that Colosseum. It's maybe not the most logical and the tactic. But first knight's gonna be gone. Crafts and does he push again? He's not stronger, so maybe he shouldn't. And he can't get strong for next turn, but he can finish Acropolis. But he actually can't take the free warrior as well. Okay, now he can if he gets that. Ooh. Then he can take the free warrior. So he can't have it. He will. Isabella, he has put colonies in there as well. Please no. Okay, knights for him. Then let's don't throw in colonies. Let's put in the foray. Breakthrough. Okay.
grab Forbidden City. But we have happy faces. Could also play reserves and increase pop. Let's do that. Okay, there are some tactics. There's Barbarossa. I mean, if we put in the Crusades as well, Barbarossa can also compete for colonies, so that's why you went for Isabella. Migration's not looking bad. I'm aware that we don't have any science right now. And that might be something we want to start looking for, but Universita stays here. Deposits, okay. Do we even want Barbarossa? Could also go Michelangelo. But can't get out of corruption. Pressure. I like pressure. I like this. We upgraded this, right? Yeah, we upgraded it. Next time we can... And one problem is we don't have a lot of food. But with the foray we will get more food. He has a lot of rocks. The next time we can maybe play the immigration. Now with the theocracy, we should have enough happy faces to win that. Okay, goes for knights. Yep. Reminds me of the last game a little bit. Ooh, territories. If they're territories, maybe we definitely don't want to win them. Make him pay, make him pay at least. Knight, knight and three rocks. Whole army, that is population gone, that is military actions, oof. That is expensive. Um, Thirteen, why did I throw a wreck the aggression? Yeah, Zami, I'm already famous. Look at all the people watching me. So, goodbye. I don't want to become famous. Okay, we have Foray, Crusades and Immigration here. Uh, the Immigration is the reason why I was comfortable just building one Swordsman. Normally we would want to wait and maybe use that one extra pop that we still had for something else. Um, but we will get one more pop from immigration. Okay, he has to rebuild military. Grab the first irrigation. Yeah, I think this game is going all right. We want the strategic or rebellion. Foray, nice. Give me the food. 
Now give me something like this. Then we have five food. Then we don't need five food. We need I also don't need to finish that, I could just... Perfection. Perfection. No science. We don't need no science. We have dudes with sticks, that's all we need. Yeah, have a good one, Jim. Uh, good luck with cooking that Thanksgiving dinner and uh, enjoy your meal. Science, shut up, nerd. Exactly. You know, who needs science? Just hire spies. Yeah, we can get these spies. Uh, we had an H1 aggression, maybe we should have kept the raid. But a raid wouldn't do much here. Monarchy for him. We can't get the Great Wall Sailor, that would be amazing here. Well, you can't lose any signs if you don't have any, so well played DJ Parson. You can still go for printing presses. Wait, did I? Yeah, knowledge of the ancients, right? We got the Dark Ages. Infiltrate! Ooh, hello there. Immigration, hello there. And do I really want to kill Isabella? No. Maybe I wait with the infiltrate. Build build one more swordsman next turn. Damn, I wish we had that great wall instead of that Taj Mahal, but we're gonna get culture. He grabs great wall. Okay, now we can't go for an aggression, but him going for the great wall is interesting. Panic great wall for him? Yeah, seems like it a little bit for free build one more swordsman I mean we need we want signs we maybe don't need it but the problem is hand space we can't use the printing press so maybe it's time for I mean breakthrough is great we can take only one more card. Our next time we go for printing press, can build that. Catherine. I mean, yeah, she, or she works. But also use some of our selections. And then don't really need selective, don't really need scientific, maybe wave. Take it away. And the rocks would be nice. Method? Nah, method is too expensive. I'm gonna go printing press anyway. It's gonna take too long to get scientific. We have such good culture production. And just make this messy. Wave can always be useful later. I think method would be too expensive. Also for the rocks. We don't have a lot of rocks. Uh, we wanna keep this game messy pressure him so that doesn't so he can't punish us for being so low on the rocks 
Or we can go for coal. Just nice to have the wave as a, as a safety measure. Yellow token of Kath will allow another PP. <laughs> Catherine allowing more PPs. Nice. Uh, he can finish the Great Wall here. It's not really that good for him. And then we can steal one yellow cube. Okay, he takes the scientific. Yeah, he's preparing for a good late game. Just build two PPs. Oh, we don't have the rocks, right. Um, maybe an efficient upgrade for potential coal. Or for the organized religion that also needs an upgrade, probably. One reserves, PP and cannon. So you don't need to increase pop. Reserves? Uh, cannon, I can... I can see that. I, feel, I still like the efficient upgrade. I think it's. I mean, you miss out on the organized, but there's another one. Should be alright. Don't need the happy face right now. Or Napoleonic. Yeah, we can maybe make that work. Full hand. Yeah, that's true. We'll see if that comes back to haunt us. Can go for scientific method, upgrade, upgrade. Grab this strategy. Upgrade, up. Okay, only upgrade once. Could we go for war? He has enough for strategy next turn, so probably not. Strategic. Yeah, it can be nice to transition to something new or make him pay for it. Okay, that is expensive, to say the least. Ooh. Maybe reward it, maybe. I know someone who likes that I draw that. Okay, now we have a problem with <laughs> the full hand problem. Luckily we have wave, it is good to have the wave. I would love to get coal here, but probably doesn't work, so maybe just warfare. Which sucks, spending the science on that. But what you're supposed to do. Which tactics and wave? Yeah, but where do what do I do with the wave? I can't build cannons. I don't have the science for it. So that is the move later, I would say. Could still go for coal. Uh, we don't have enough next turn, and we have a full hand again. And next turn, we'll probably go for cannons. I mean, Kev in hand is never bad. Can still go for Napoleonic. Again, full hand, I know, but we can open the scientific method, uh, the knowledge, go for cannons.
Okay, these territories should be good. We can send away our swordsman. Okay, he will give us the knowledge. Maybe we don't play something next turn, even though we could use the freedom to put philosophy into printing press, so we have something to do. Of course, the ideal move would be maybe put swordsman somewhere else, but we can maybe play the developed. The efficient upgrade, we can still just use it for the organized religion, that is still possible. What I'm afraid of the most is this big rock production. Okay, now switch James Cook, he switches into culture, enables our wave. I still play it. And playing Colony versus James Cook, maybe not the best. I don't know. Uh, but now we can use from Philosophy on Printing Press. Yeah, maybe arms industry would have been better than the colony. I mean, we still... The idea is... Oh, colonization cards help. The idea is I want to stay with the fighting band, be able to send away swordsmen for the colonies. That's kind of, kind of my thinking. Also, there's iconoclasm. That might hit soon. Let's see if we can get the organized. If not, uh, happy faces will be a problem. But manageable. Hopefully. Especially if we get the colonies. Thing is, we kind of want to end this game quickly, but we have no civil actions to do so. So we'll have to see. It's just good to have developed territory is a very good colony for us because we need science. So maybe it was okay to play it. And these colonization cards definitely help. Cannons. We get the organized, and now I think we can play that arms industry. Prosperity, okay, that helps. <laughs> yeah, I would love my CA and MA. Well, we aren't even doubling our CAs, so would he, would he really? Like this, we can get to pop out. We grab organized for next turn, build one more cannon. Next turn, go for organized, fixes heavy faces. Uh, looks okay, it's civil action efficient. Gandhi. 
There is Gandhi. Gandhi could be good. National Pride is good. He has no happy faces, but there's team sports still. Economic progress. We don't really produce less than him. That's nice. He still has a lot of rocks though. 17. Team sports is a must for him. Yeah. Okay. More military. I'm in danger. Developed. Yeah, we want this one. Nice. Uh, so we have to send both. Keep one card. So we don't even need organized religion this turn. And then I guess we go for Kev. Go for a Napoleonic army. Also works for the arms industry. And giving him Napoleonic? I don't know. But we kind of have to. I guess I could also just play this. And we have a lot of MAs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can't defend like this. This settler we can't. And how about we go for fundamentalism? And now it's a little bit, yeah. Yeah, Coop has the same idea. So maybe it's not so far out of reach. Grabbing the fundamentalism, takes it away from him. He can go for it easily with Acropolis. He needs some ace. I mean, he can't keep up, in, he can't catch up in culture. So fundamentalism seems good. Maybe not even for the revolution, maybe we can wait. Because we also need the happy face from Theocracy. Next turn at least. It's not that easy for him, that's true, it's not that easy, but he's producing good, uh, good science, so... Oil. That is an early oil, but maybe too late. Touch Mal's blue cube pays off again for the revolution. Yeah, don't underestimate the one blue cube. It can matter quite a lot. Marie with iconoclasm in. <laughs> Marie is not really enabled for us. Uh, what, what do you mean? We can't go for Marie. With oil, maybe, yeah. Marie and oil, but we don't have the civil actions for that. Oh, what a territory. Okay, okay. Well, let's hope to get the arms industry. And now that he has Ocean Line, I think I can play the Inhabited. Arms Industry, nice. So sadly, Fundamentalism leaves us with unhappy workers. We have a new tactic though. We can actually win this war. I guess PP goes away. We need our rocks. Who needs PPs? Exactly. Who needs those? And then reserves, I guess. Yeah, reserves seem good. Air forces. Well, he will like the air forces. Would like to take them away, but that's not possible. I mean, alternatively, we can. Just go for two cannons. Ah, but I want to win this. Winning this feels like the right move. I 
and reserves. I mean, that's more than our. Oops, that's more than our um, production. So. Ooh, and look at that. That's a good tactic for us, mechanized. We steal one yellow cube. Man, he can't finish Ocean Liner, but he can't finish Ocean Liner and grab Air Forces. So Iconoclasm means no more cook. We were expecting the PP to go hard. Well, it did a good job. It went hard in the early game. But you know, after a while, the PPs become kind of soft and yeah, not, not hard enough anymore. We need more hard culture. Or more strength to destroy the PPs, build cannons. That kind of stuff. So, is he gonna go air forces or. Ocean Liner. Very Kui, okay. Ignores his own Ocean Liner. Okay, I want Gandhi. Gandhi now, please. Please give me Gandhi. I'm scared. No Gandhi. Well, the Air Force comes out, luckily. So we don't go for Fundamentalism. We go for Air Forces. I mean, not this turn. Don't need them this turn. Could also just do the revolution this turn. We have no corruption. Um, we won't be able to get air forces next turn. That is a small problem. And uh, the uprising as well. And with this play, civil actions are a problem. We'll never get air forces though. Why not? Can get them next turn. With fundamentalism, oh yeah, with fundamentalism, you're right. Then, then never. Charlie Chaplin for happy faces? Mm, no, not a fan. I Gandhi saves me immediately. I would say so. I want Gandhi. Like this, we don't have enough for Air Forces next turn. So we have 46 only. Yeah, with Civil Action, we could grab Air Forces this turn. The thing is, then we don't have enough for Air Forces and Cannon, and we need both, right? One Air Force. I mean, one Air Force is also not bad. Um, because we have a decent tactic. But I think if we grab something in reserves, it might be more important. And then do something without Air Forces next turn. We get Air Force for one next turn. Can play reserves, grab Air Forces, play them. Yeah, I think this is better. Play reserves, grab Air Forces, play Air Forces, destroy a PP, destroy a warrior. Oh, no war this turn. Historic, my old nemesis. I mean, I want the happy face. Don't need these Rorias. <laughs> and not a lot of uh, strength left, uh, but we have a new tactic, that's the good part. And Gandhi, Gandhi still would still save us. Perhaps. Ooh, 
These impacts, I mean, happiness is okay now, right? Progress is not good. Agriculture is also playable thanks to the colonies. No hand space for Gandhi, that's correct, yeah. And we'll see if he sets up the war now. <laughs> he probably will. He can he has 14 rocks, that's two air forces, plus one more cannon with the six. Oh! Forget about it. He hasn't got a war, probably. That's why he can't reliably go for that. Also, no Gandhi. <laughs> that stupid efficient upgrade, yeah. That uh, stupid efficient upgrade. Inhabited. Uh, that would be nice as well. <laughs> yeah, I can't go for this actually. I think I need my rocks. I don't have it. Jebel movies? <laughs> In what world are you living? We have the culture lead. We just need to defend. I don't need more culture here. Next turn. I mean, we have enough for a cannon. That's one more tactic. I think we're good. Thing is, we can't end the age anytime soon. Chaplin is the brave option. Yeah, but I'm not brave. Not in this case. Not when Puntos are on the line. Would have been nice to get the military build up, but uh, maybe we can manage without. I shall pride even more culture. I mean, we got that touch mile pretty early. Imagine how much culture that has produced already. Yeah, I mean, we have the culture. I think it's maybe not impossible, but super hard for him to beat us with culture and impacts. Internet is pretty bad. And we have fast food in Hollywood. Hollywood is not enabled for him. Neither is internet really. Multimedia. Multimedia is great, but sadly we don't have the science to go for it. I mean, I would love it here to use the efficient upgrade. If only we had the science. Have I finished my second game of the World Championship yet? Yes, I have, and it will release on YouTube this Sunday. How many cards can he even take? Three, four, five. I mean, you can't end, sadly. Yes, fast food. Sadly, we can't grab the fast food. If we could, we would just grab it, I think. Um, yeah, war is not an option either. So we have to. Push. I guess a bit of agriculture. It's okay to push. Or science. And maybe he can do it with uh, impacts and all of that stuff. Impact and wonder. Can we really not end this? No. Sadly, we can't. Nice happiness. Yeah, organized religion is probably the move now. I think we're gonna have corruption.
on cannon. I don't really want to enable his military buildup, do I? And yeah, sure, we could do this now. Nah. Then this. Let's have enough for one Air Force next turn. We're still threatening a war. And we could play an aggression, perhaps. Yeah, maybe the military pressure is still the move. Let him spend civil actions on other stuff. Thunder War. Thunder War. Well, that is a threat. That is a big threat. For that, we need to destroy one more printing press. Oh, no science. Yeah, you're right. No science. Can't, can't do it. You are correct. And it's still threatening. One Air Force is still a lot of strength. I mean, he has a lot of population, he has military buildup. Could have a new tactic, and he has that uh, ocean liner. But who knows? If he grabs the fast food, it could be worth it to go for the war of culture to deny him this. And it's 143 to 82, so we have 50 cult no, 60 culture lead. That should be enough. With two impacts from him only. Two poor and science even for fundamentalism. Yeah, we had to destroy the poor peepees. He's not played politics, is he? Can he go for war? Declare war. Build two air forces. Oh, hybrid war. Seventy-five. Maybe he should have just gone for Gandhi. This no, no. Well, at least he also doesn't get a wonder then. I mean, seventy-two. It's only gonna steal three. That doesn't matter too much. Yeah, this is not big enough. It's only still in three culture. And communism? What does communism really do? Next turn I'd rather build more religions or something. Or food. Call me for government. But we also need the heavy face from theocracy for happiness. Ah, uh, this is this alright. Yeah, three culture stolen, that is not uh, not enough to make up for that Taj Mahal. I, I think really Taj Mahal did uh, a lot of this. Of course, it is expensive. Good that it didn't push, by the way. If the happiness came out during our turn when we still had the hybrid war, that would have been a disaster. Luckily, we can avoid that. That's why carried the game. I mean, I don't know about carrying the game, but it just uh, put a lot of pressure on him. <laughs> and I don't think it's going to move up the tier list. It, it does what it has always done. It takes away eight rocks, gives you the blue cube, and makes it harder for your opponent to win the game. Because now, I mean, how much culture was that? 10 turns more? 30 culture? Made it impossible for him to catch up with... The rest. Hmm. 
Blue cube is worth four rocks in the long run. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it can be. I mean, eight rocks for 30 culture is also not a bad deal. When you consider you would be happy to spend 16 rocks on 25 culture, even 20 for wonder. Okay, we have science, can't go for anything. Um, if it's strength, we lose anyway. We can't win competition. So go for what we know it is in there. Agriculture. Variety. And, and what was his last move? Mine. He went for mine. It might be industry. GG. Oh, hey, Zahid. GG. Yes, no, it wasn't easy for me at all. I was ver very worried from an early stage on. It was very interesting. Very interesting game. Population. We were, this whole game, four civil actions. We never got any more. It was rough, but uh, and in the end, also not. Not unclosed. Basically, the 30 points from the Taj Mahal, as you said, the 30 points that Taj Mahal produced, or around 30 points, uh, is the difference we have in the end. So maybe Taj Mahal was carrying us here. So GG, and that means Untos, as always, Untos. Complete the match, and we get. Ooh, TK Pulse is making it interesting. Give me, give me those puntos. Doesn't want to. Four same three rock production and still win. Well, I need, you need to play more. Yeah, that's true. Four selection and only three rocks and we still manage. But uh, yeah, it wasn't easy. It was a game where I felt in a bad position for a lot. But luckily we had the culture lead and there was Good enough in the end. So there we get it. 12 puntas plus 40. Uh, 1769. Nice. And still 50 points. So yeah, around 1800 is not too shabby. And that's uh, good for me for today. So thank you guys very much.